Okay guys, so we're going to be designing our very own front lip. Um, as you can see, I have the bumper and the lip portion kind of taped off. This is so that the 3D scanner can uh, pick up those points a lot easier. There's Rich. And then we have a general scan from uh, when we were developing the fender and stuff like that. But we are missing a couple of parts like here and uh, on the side right here. So we're going to be trying to get all those points that we're missing. Uh, after we do that, we're going to merge the two, stands to get two scans together and begin designing the front lip. Now we have the scans loaded up and the front half scan from before. Uh, we're going to align the two scans. Okay, so we have the scan uh, all processed and now you can see we don't have any of the- Stop it! So we have the scan all processed now, you can see that all the gaps are filled. Um, now that we, now when we design the lip on top of the scan, it should be accurate and fit nicely. So right now we figured since we have the car on the lift, we're gonna make a uh, like carbon side extensions or side splitters, uh, just so you know it looks a little bit more aggressive and stuff. So what they'll do is uh, just tap screw or 3M onto the bottom bottom of the side skirt. Yeah, we're just gonna scan this and then design it real quick, and it sh should look cool. Okay, so we just finished filming. Oh, shit. Okay, so we just finished scanning everything. Um, now you can see we have the underside of the side skirt here and the mounting points. So we use this part of the scan to create uh, side skirt extensions. Um, and then we have. It kind of filled, dude. Jesus. I'm gonna do it again now. You know what's fine? I can just cut it. And now we have the underside of the lip and the contours here. So we can start designing a carbon fiber lip on top of the scan here. Alright guys, so I just finished designing the version 1 of the side skirt extension. Uh, we're going to test with uh, plastic, but the actual one will be made out of carbon fiber. We're just testing with the plastic in case we need adjustments so we can, uh, you know, so it's cheap, so we're not throwing away perfectly good carbon. But you can kind of see that's how much it'll stick out. Uh, it should be sticking out two inches in front and two inches in respect to the rear. But in actuality, the side skirt kind of tapers inwards from the back to the front. So um, yeah, should look good. We just wanted to go with a simple, really uh, aesthetic design. Hopefully it'll flow with our saber fender and the wheels really well. So we have the nice carbon sheet here. So we're gonna be cutting the side skirt extensions of the carbon now and mounting it to the car. So we're finally all done. You guys, hopefully you guys can see. It's kind of dark, but it's really clean. It's nice and clean carbon fiber under the black side skirt accent. Um, it's really cool. And what's really cool is it's carbon fiber. The mirror cap's carbon fiber, and the vortex generator or the wind buffeter thing is carbon fiber. So this whole side profile kind of works. So it's like different carbon fiber accents. So I'm really happy how, how, with how it came out. Nice. Hopefully you guys can see that. So here are some preliminary sketches of um, our super lip. Uh, these are some of the ideas we kind of tossed around and looked at. Uh, obviously this lip was definitely not it. But uh, it helped us get to this stage, which is the final-ish render of the lip. Um, you guys can see we made it up to our 3D scan up top. And we also rendered it on a car, which got us really excited. So here's our MDF 
mold for the lip being cut out. Um, it's really cool seeing the before and after stages of this block of wood turning into, or block of MDF turning into a organic shape. Um, so you guys can see what the rough cut process looks like and then after it's done with this rough cut process it starts shaving it down into smooth surfaces. Um, after this stage is done we get our lip which looks like this and turn it into a fiberglass piece. Uh, oh shit it's at 35 so we got the lip. Uh, Rich just primer the lip out of the MDF mold that you guys saw. Uh, this beautiful man right here has done glorious work. Thanks, so thank now you. you can see the outline of the lip. I like this accent right there. My favorite part's the end plate area. Kind of get like a swoosh there. So this is MDF. It just has a gray primer on it. Um, yeah, we're gonna be test fitting this thing onto that thing. Yay. And it's designed to work with our splitter, which is way over there. Um, so yeah, I guess now we'll just button it up and see how it looks. It looks so good. Dang. It just makes the whole front of the car look crazy. Look at that. A lot of the contours there. And the contour here. So it's like swooping air into the coolers. There's another one there, and you have a 3D section on the end plate, like up here. So right now we're still far from the actual part. What this is is a positive. Uh, this is the positive part we cut out of MDF, but um, uh, we still need to do a lot of refining and like fitting and stuff like that. But it's just really cool to see the part, like, on the car. So we just got the prototype lip on for the Sabre prototype lip for the GR Supra. Um, this is just a fiberglass version so we could check fitment and how it looks on the car. Um, but as you guys can see, it looks exactly like the renders and it looks amazing. It really brings in the front end of the Supra together because the bumper on the OEM Supra kind of goes inwards here. So this uh, lip. Uh, mix all the elements stick out. Um, I'm really happy how this turned out. Like, especially with our chassis mount splitter, this will look insane. So you have my favorite element here. It's kind of like a 3D slope up, and you have the side profile of the lip. It kind of looks like it's gonna redirect air up, scoops air up into all the coolers. We have our whole front arrow set up. We are actually making our own canards. So these are not uh, Sabre canards, but um, we'll be making our own canards that kind of work with our whole front arrow setup. Uh, you guys see that our lip is designed to work with the battle arrow splitter. That way you don't have to run like a really ugly like perpendicular air dam. You get this nice carbon fiber lip. Man, that looks so good. Yeah, it just makes everything flow you know, from the front of the car to the air duct, so nice even flow. And uh, looks way cooler than the plastic air dam, in my opinion. Okay, so uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how we developed the uh, carbon fiber front lip for the GR Supra. Um, yeah, it really makes the front end look aggressive, so I'm really happy with how that came out. Plus, I don't have to run like a really thick air dam anymore. It flows really well with the splitter. Um, our, surprisingly enough, our entire first batch, our first shipment, uh, yeah, got is sold out already. So our next shipment should be coming in. So uh, if you guys want to grab one, um, I guess when I release this video, they sh more should be coming in a couple in a couple weeks from now. So uh, you guys, uh, if you guys order one, you'll get on the pre-order for it. Uh, but yeah.